Good morning. This is Verina Elementary School, and I'm Jennifer Cannell. This is my fourth grade class, and today's lesson is going to be all about capacity. Welcome. Okay, boys and girls, before we get into our lesson on capacity, you know, normally we'll start with a little warm-up problem. So today we're going to do that. You remember our, our game, which one doesn't belong? Yeah. Yep, so let's play that. I'm going to put a few numbers on the board, and I want you to be thinking about which one doesn't belong, but also you have to tell me why. Why doesn't that number belong? Remember, we want to have some deep thinking, more than just some surface-level observations. We, we want to be thinking about connections and relationships between our numbers. So here we go. So I've kind of upped the ante a little this morning. I've given you more numbers. We usually have three. Uh, uh, threw a few extra numbers up there. Give you a minute to think them over. When you're ready, just raise your hand. Which one doesn't belong? And tell me why. Defend your answer. I see one hand. Give a few more seconds of think time. And then we'll take some shares. Be brave. Be confident. Okay, Jaka, what are you thinking? So, and how would we say decimal 25 in a fourth grade way? What place value would it be? Awesome, 2,500s. And you would like to get rid of 2,500s because, tell me again. It's a decimal and all the others are fractions. Thank you. Anyone else want to share? Brendan? One. One. One whole. Tell me about that one whole and why you might want to get rid of it. Say that again nice and loud. Make sure everybody was listening. Everything else is not a whole yet, so the one, the one is a whole, so I think one should be out. Okay, I like that explanation. I like how you defended your answer. Anyone else want to share? Marissa. So how are you thinking of those 25s and 75s? Are you relating it to anything? Coins. coins. Dimes? No. What kind of coins? coins? Quarters. I love that. I love that you're thinking about quarters. And you said that if I add up all the quarters, it would be like what? A whole. So you wanted to get rid of the whole, just like Brendan. So you agree with Brendan. Would anyone want to get rid of, say, 75 one hundredths? No, because that's three quarters. Raise your hand. Landon. No, because that's three quarters. And what about three quarters? It's almost 25 away. From what? 25 away from a hole. So which one are you thinking about? The one hole. The one hole. We have a lot of people who want to get rid of that one hole. Angel, what are you thinking? I think I would get rid of 7,500 because it's the only number that has 100 as, as a denominator. 
The only one that has 100 as a denominator. I like that. Mind if I share with you a few things I was thinking and see if I can get you to maybe agree or not? What do you think about 1 fourth and 25? 25 hundredths. How do they go together? Do you see a connection there, Chaka? Beautiful. So this is like one out of four, and if there were one out of four and we're thinking of quarters, it would be 25 cent. Lovely. And what do we think about three-fourths and 75 hundredths? What do you think about that, Elena? I think they're equal to each other. They are. Can you tell me why they're equal? Because 25 times three would be 75 and... 25 times 4 would be 100. So those, those fractions are related to each other. Oh, perfect. What about um, if I take the 3 fourths and the 1 fourth? Are they related in any way, Victoria? If you add them, they would equal to one whole. They would be a whole. And then maybe you would think about getting rid of something that doesn't relate to a whole. I think you could have interpreted this different ways and that's the beauty of playing this game. There are really no wrong answers as long as you can defend your reason. So you might have been thinking well a lot of these can add up to be a whole or they are a whole and you may get rid of one that might not help you make one whole. Or you may get rid of one that isn't a fraction but a decimal. So I think your reasoning is all the proof you need about why you're going to get rid of the one that you choose. All right, good job. Good thinking. Thank you. Thank you for thinking hard. Let's now review from yesterday. We talked about capacity. What is capacity? We've done length. We've done weight. In our units of study on measurement, what is capacity? Does anyone remember? Remember we sat on the carpet? We had the jugs and the containers. What is capacity? What are we trying to measure? Landon. I think it's like measuring stuff. Like what, measuring stuff. what kind of stuff? Like. Do you remember any of our vocabulary words we've been talking about? How about Landon? Help him out, Ryan. We're measuring water, just water, liquids. any kind of liquids. Thank you, Brendan. We're measuring liquids. Give me some units of measurement for measuring liquids. See if I can jog your brain this morning. Give me some. Maya, did you say quarts? I like it, quarts. Jonathan, we got pints. Jayla, we've got cups. And there's one more I'm thinking of. We've got the gallon. Excellent. So yesterday we took a couple of minutes and we talked about our gallons and quarts and pints and cups and we've sort of explored and experimented and we said that it might depend on the container and the size and shape of it as to if it looked like it was holding the same amount of water. Did I trick some people yesterday? Yeah, right. I did. So today we're going to work with making equivalencies using those units of measure. So maybe how many pints does it take to make a quart or how many cups does it take to make a gallon? And we're going to work with trading them and uh, making them equal. So I'm going to give you a few strips of paper they're already in sets, so you don't need to share them. Each set is for you, and you don't need any other materials right now. Can you put that away, please? I like how everybody is waiting so quietly and patiently. Good manners. You're welcome. You're welcome. When you get your little pack of paper, can you put that away, please? Red is what we're going to focus on first. Thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. You are welcome. For you, Jonathan. 
There you go, sir. Did I skip anyone? Okay, good. So let's talk about the red one. And I want to pretend like red might be my biggest quantity. What could red be if I'm thinking of my capacity units of measurement? What could it be, Antonio? Gallons. Does anyone agree with Antonio? Good. I think so, too. I think this should be my gallon. So this is going to represent my whole. Is that okay with everyone? Yeah. So this is my whole. So I would like for you just to slip red up to the top of your desk and let it just be there. This is going to represent gallon. It's our whole. The next color we're going to use is yellow. So if you could grab your yellow paper. Now, what do you suppose yellow might represent if we're kind of working our way down in order? What do you think, Landon? Four quarts. You think it might be quartz. Is anyone agreeing with Landon? Show me if you agree. I agree, too. No. He said four quarts in a gallon. Do you agree with that? Yes. So how could we get our whole piece of paper to represent four quarts? Talk with your table for just a second and see if you agree with the strategy you would use to make this into four equal pieces. Talk with your table. <laughs> How might you make this into four equal pieces? I like those words. Half and then divide it again. Good math vocabulary. Quentin's going to come join your table. Make sure that you, you tell him. I have one last table to check in with. What do you guys think? Fold it in half and fold it in half again. Good math vocabulary. Brendan, would you like to sit here in the cold seat? Hey, I've checked in with every table and I got some really good math vocabulary words. I heard things like half. I heard things like divide. I heard things like equal. I love all your vocabulary. So I saw a lot of people fold this piece of paper in half and half means two. And then I heard divide it in half and fold it again. So I saw a lot of people doing this. When I open it, what should I have? Four. four. What kind of pieces? Equal. Equal. What kind of pieces? Equal. equal. Four equal pieces. I do. Do you? Yes. Good. Yes. So slip this right under the red so that you have red and then yellow. Now I'd like for you to grab blue. What do you suppose blue might be? If we've already had our whole gallon and then we have four quarts, what might blue represent? Maya? Might be pints. How many pints are in a gallon? Anybody remember? Jayla? Eight. Talk with your table. How could you make this hole turn into eight pints? Talk with your table. Tell them what you did. Crease it. Oh, you already have a crease there. Okay. Now, Elena, tell Quentin what he should do next. He folded it in half. I don't know. He should divide this part. Okay. Oh, you have a different technique. I like that. I see. Two different ways. See, that's cool. And Marissa folded hers in half. That made fourths. How could we get fourths? What do you do to four to get eight? Looking for a good word. Starts with a D divide or double it. So if I fold it again, when we open it up, we should have eight magic pieces. Excellent. What was your technique? Explain to me how you got eight pints. Ryan. Fold it the same way I did the yellow one, but make an extra fold. So how did we fold the yellow one? We, um, you fold it like this. OK, 
Okay, and that would be called half. half. And then what did I do? Fold it again. Fold it in half, half again. That made fourths. What if I want eighths? What do I have to do, Ryan? Fold it in half again. Fold it in half one more time. It's getting kind of small, but that's okay. When I open it, I should have eight pieces. Eight, what kind of pieces? Are they equal or not? Equal. They are equal pieces. Would you slip this one up underneath of the yellow? Does anyone see a pattern or anything that might be familiar from the past? Yeah. What do you see? Talk with your table for a minute. What are you starting to realize or recognize? Fraction strips. Strips. I'm hearing some good stuff. Good. Anybody want to share what they're, what they're thinking at their table? I heard some good stuff right here. Can I pick on you, Cy Angel? What were you saying? I was saying 4 plus 4 equals 8, and I know that cup, I know that 16 cups equals a gallon, so I did 8 plus 8 equals 16. And then if we went on, 16 plus 16 will equal 32. Beautiful. I like the way you extended it. So it's a what? A pattern. It's a pattern. I like that. What are we going to do with the green? We're going to fold it into sixteenths. How will we do that? Talk with your table. See if you can make equal sixteenths. I like the way you have good teamwork going on over here. Is Emma folding her paper into 16 equal parts over here? Looks like it. You need some help or you got it? Yeah, you can trace it with your pencil if you need to. Were you successful? Yeah. Somebody tell me what to do because I haven't folded mine yet. Can you explain to me what to do? Any takers, be brave. Tell me what to do. One step at a time. Victoria, what should I do? So you should fold it in half. Should fold it in half. Okay, I did that. And then fold it in half again like you did before. Okay, fourths. Fold it one more time like you did it with the eighth. Eighths. It's so tiny now. Are you sure it's going to be sixteenths? How can you be sure? How do you know? Counting by... Are we doing any kind of doubling? I had four and then I had eight and then I had sixteen. I do have sixteen pieces. I'm going to lay that right up underneath of my blue. So now on our paper, we have created our gallons, quarts, pints, and cups, and we can use these to help make equivalencies. So we could see how many cups might be in a quart, or how many cups might be in two quarts. And I heard someone say a couple of minutes ago when I said, does this seem familiar? I heard someone maybe in this neck of the woods said, these look like fraction strips. They do, don't they? They absolutely look like our fraction strips from a couple of weeks ago. Thanks for joining us today. I hope you enjoyed our lesson. Go Hawks!